What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's currently like 3 a.m. I've had a long, long week, but I'm trying to get this video edited up so I don't miss a Sunday upload. But in this video, we head out to do a little bit of trout fishing during some of the most unpredictable weather patterns that I've personally ever seen. Not sure if it's the same way where you are, but here, man, we went from 75 degree days to tornadoes to snow within a span of like three days. So these fish have no idea what's going on. With that being said, I did hook up on one of my biggest trout of the year, despite some high water, and uh, it was a pretty fun day. We moved a lot of fish, just man couldn't put them in the net. So it was a super tough day. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like down below, maybe drop a comment, let me know how the fishing is where you are, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next video. Hey! Super late rainbow hit. Fish in the net. First fish on the jerk bait. Super thick fish, man. Like 17-ish. Look like something tried to eat it. On its back. Yeah, it's sure enough, there's yeah. something there. It's blue, that's kind of crazy. Honestly, with the water up like it is, and we just fished through this entire hole, not a bite, didn't see a follow, nothing. I really wasn't expecting to catch a fish right here in the swift water, but not sure where that fish come from. If it was out in the deep and just kind of followed it over or if he got it here in the swift water, who knows? But didn't get skunked and uh, let's see how the rest of the day goes. It's gonna be kind of hard to fish this place today. This creek, I mean, I'm not saying we can't catch fish, but I'm talking about, uh, I guess the weightability, you know, and the safety of that because you got to cross back and forth in this creek a lot and it's already hard to wade at say two feet it's uh it's it's four feet right now so it's going to make today enjoyable but we're just going to kind of roll through it and see what can happen see if we can put on a few fish and if not we can we got all day we can always go somewhere else oh Got bit right there. I don't know how, I mean, you, you guys don't come for me in the comments down here when this next fish I set a hook into, I, I loosen my drag up and there's always somebody in my shorts or whatever, they're like, tighten your drag, bro. Like, I got my drag loose when jerk bait fishing. One, we're using light line. Two, we're using a finesse jerk baits with super, super fine wire hooks. So, I mean, Utilize your drag, man. Utilize the drag. You don't want to pull the jerk bait out of a fish's mouth because you got your drag set too tight. So I've got it loose now. So if I catch a fish, I don't want to hear anybody complaining. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Good fish. Oh, oh, let's go. That's a stud, bro. Might go 20. On the paws, too. Well, I was gonna try to show you guys the jerk bait in the corner of the fish's mouth. Beautiful hook set. Uh, it actually, if you can see that's right there, it broke one of the trebles off. Even with a loose drag right there, one of the trebles broke. But this, this is a hoss right here. Look at this guy. Hold him up. 
That is a beautiful brown, man. Just got it on the tape. Just over 21 inches if he'll cooperate here. That is a stud of a brown, man. Beautiful fish. We're gonna get some pictures, send him back. All right, let's send this big guy home. Well, that was uh, unexpected to say the least. If you guys can see this water here behind me, it's got a pretty good stain to it. It's up. Honestly, coming down here, we couldn't hardly cross the creek. I didn't think that we were even gonna be able to fish it. And I was worried about starting off with a jerk bait anyway, but I believe this one having the orange belly, kind of flashy gold on the side, I think that's helping me out in this stained water. Zach's probably a half mile ahead of me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump out and go catch up with him. I had to wait on a train to come by, so that audio wasn't all messed up trying to show you guys that fish. But let's go catch up with him and uh, see if we can go catch some more stained water brown trout. Normally, I would just fish up and uh, say catch up to him while obviously fishing. Like this morning, he was throwing a spinner, I was throwing a jerk bait, so we had different lures on. But after I caught that last fish, I was like, hey man, you might want to switch up. So he's still on a jerk bait. So I don't feel no need to roll behind him with a jerk bait there. So I'm gonna catch up to him and get back in the water. So I could have quit fishing after that second trout and had the same results on the day. We fished for probably 12 hours on this day. And man, I'm telling you right now, it was tough. A little aggravating when things aren't going your way and things like this are happening. Oh, that was a good one. There we go. <laughs> Bro, that was a good fish too. There we go. The net. It came off. In the it net. came off. Came off in the net. <laughs> All right. Thank you, buddy. But sometimes that's how it goes, man. It is what it is, and I was just blessed enough to get out and be able to do a little bit of trout fishing and put a few fish in the net. But that's all I got for this one, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and as always, we'll catch you on the next video.